Miss Fry, what a pleasant surprise. Hello, Clara. I was just going to check on Lambus since the asylum's closing. What brings you here? The children in my care have been falling ill. A usual tonics aren't working. A cane, too. <laughs> Are you certain you're feeling all right? Of course. I am, Miss. Clara! Is there a doctor nearby? Bring her inside. She simply collapsed? Yes, she said the others took tonic, but it didn't work. I should think not. Ever since Elliotson was murdered, the district has been overrun with counterfeit tonics. <laughs> this one needs proper care. But without the appropriate medication, she and the others will quickly decline. What do you need? I need supplies. Plenty of them. And medicine. Some of the less common ingredients are being stolen and sold at auction. I'd be happy to help. Here's the list. Miss Fry. Evie Fry. I'm Miss Nightingale. How do you do? Please hurry. We don't have much time.
thank you enough. These supplies are meant for Miss Nightingale. I'm here to collect them. And they're already loaded on the cart. Please take them. Get up! You mean that cart? Yes. Of course it is. Please be careful. Some of those items are fragile. Not a moment too soon. I hope you brought the medication I requested. How is she? She will recover. Pablonelli, the children. Thanks to you, we can distribute authentic medicine now. But is that a permanent solution? I will petition to have regulations put in place. Lambeth is in your debt. It takes a long time to change things. But I'm not going anywhere, Miss Fry.
Ah! Oh, Jacob, Evie, it's you. Thank goodness. Experimenting, are we, Alec? Correct. And looking a bit frazzled. Nerves. It's those great oafs Starrick keeps sending round to coax me. He is offering a ridiculous amount of money. Alec, you're not thinking of jumping ship, are you? Never. I've been working in something in case they get too insistent. Uh, it's meant to stun an assailant, should they need a rise. Are you certain that it works? Uh, not as such. I I've made three of them with varying degrees of acidity and whatnot. Oh, one must be the right formula. Let's find some Staric lackeys to target then, shall we? <laughs> Speaking of Staric, he is still transmitting false information. We could simply destroy his transmitters. His company's too well guarded. And the bombs will help, but it would be awkward to produce bombs that potentially do not stun. Oh, wait a minute. Looks like opportunity has come knocking. Oh dear, they never looked so angry before. Stand clear, Alec. Let us instead play a little linguistic game with them. Um, take the bombs and climb onto the roof. Uh, when I see the name of uh, a fruit, Toss one near the thugs. Right then. Oh, uh, oh wait, uh, I nearly forgot. Um, slip these into your boots and you will henceforth be immune to all voltaic discharge. I think. Smash your place up, in we best. You got one of them Tully what's it's in here, ain't ya? We've been reading messages from the Steric Company. That is as untrue as the notion that the Steric Telegraph Company is emitting impartial information, sir. Come again? Your employer's promises are nothing but hot air, and his operations are about to turn pear-shaped. <laughs> What's you going on about air and pairs for? Oh, I don't know. I feel rough. Oh, that's disgusting. Oh. <coughs> Go by me. Oh, kids, eh? Those playful young scamps get everywhere. Delights me, and to think I worried you had the mental agility of a dollop of donkeys' apples. <laughs> I'll have no more of your cheek, boy. Say that again, and I'll give you a face like a slopped ass. Self-respecting gardener likes donkey apples. <laughs> he 
Even hose waves run out to sweep. <laughs> My boots, you're as purple as a plum. You're in grave danger of fearing my a plum. Good show, Alec. Thanks to you, Evie. Your mere presence gave me courage and resolve I never knew I had. I'm glad I could help. Now it's time to shut down Stark's empire of propaganda. Oh, come on, we haven't got all day. The longer we can keep Staric from spewing out false information, the more we can awaken the people with the truth about his operations. I agree. The sooner we can get there, the quicker we can act. Would you believe my mother says there are still some wives in her street that swear by that suit himself? So I took it upon myself to tell her neighbors the truth about the obnoxious draft. That's good, Alec. But you can't go round to every household in London town. No, it wasn't always well put. It shows how false information can be as difficult to stamp out as fish wives with the vanities of Billings Gate. Or vermin at Smithfield. But if we can eradicate a source that continually feeds such detrimental trash, then little by little the truth will take the upper hand and the sham will be flushed out. That's why we're here. We will have to get out of the detected mind. I shall stand them while you get inside. I shall destroy not one, but three parts of the transmitter. You'll be as good as dancing before a public toilet without a penny. Easy, easy. Coppers will soon put a stop to that. <laughs> Make me proud, Rook. <laughs> yes, Cap. Over here. 
That is a doll nail. Good you ain't so lost to humanity. Someone must do something. I see. This is becoming rather perilous, to say the least. Oh, golly gosh! Jolly cool shave, that! Fiddly, that one, but I've pulled it as well as a dentist pulls a rotten tooth. There. Move faster if you can. I see. This is becoming rather perilous, to say the least. Do your job. My dears, Jacob, Evie, thanks are once again in order for supporting what is most dear to me and to our cause, freedom of speech. It's a blessing that you employ your genius for the common good, Alec. However, I suggest you vacate your workshop. But no need. Not now you've given me sacks full of courage. And besides, what with my little devices, I have all the protection I need. Uh, should you find yourselves with a moment to spare, do drop by. <laughs> uh. <laughs>